Hi, this is Lori Saturday Trask, and this is the Lori Saturday Live Show. We are here today with a good friend of mine, Julia Spigarelli. And I have known Julia for quite a while, and I've actually used a lot of her products over the years. I've been sort of a guinea pig for her, <laughs> which has been lovely. <laughs> it has been lovely. And, um, and she is now launching her line um, on Etsy and a website coming up in several other different ways and possibly some boutiques here locally. And we are very excited for her and just here to get to know her a little bit, know what sets her um, outside the box from other people. So um, welcome to the show, Thank Julia. Thank you for having me. <laughs> glad to be I'm here. I'm so glad you're here. Um, we have so much to talk about that I just hope we have time to talk about everything. Um, so we might have to do another show with Julia. Um, your background um, for your creative outlets um, started when you were a child, I know. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, to start, I, start? I, it, it really did. I think I was, uh, especially with the essential oils, I was really influenced <clears throat> by my Italian grandparents. They took care of me while my folks worked, and they were avid gardeners, both of them. My Grandfather had a beautiful grape arbor, made his own wine and whiskey and Lord knows what else. Mm. On one side of the arbor, he had um, all of his beautiful vegetables. And to this day, I cannot capture the taste of the tomatoes that he grew. Okay. Of course, in those days, no chemicals, so all the fertilizer was organic from the chickens. On the other side, my grandmother had a beautiful flower and herb garden. Everything from peonies to roses to sage to basil lavender, you name it, and it was there. So I think uh, the, the inspiration started very early and then kind of continued on throughout my life. Wow, that sounds like a dream almost, like it's yeah. so cool. So I think that your move into this whole realm of products started with a past life maybe even. So do you want to talk about that a little bit? We had an experience uh, once when I first yes. met you that talked about that, but yes. I'm going to let you explain it. Yes. So I want to let you all know that uh, I met Lori through a friend several years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, she didn't know me at all. It was a referral, and I went in for an ionic foot cleanse, which, by the way, is absolutely fabulous. You have to schedule one as soon as you can. Um, <laughs> anyway, midway through the cleanse, I connected with her immediately, I have to say that. Yeah, there was just did. something we spiritually did. we connected, mm -hmm. didn't we? Absolutely. And um, so about midway through the foot cleanse, she said, you know, I have something to share with you on a spiritual level. Would you mind if I spoke about it? And I said, no, I was very interested. I said, oh, please go ahead. She said, well, I see you in a past life as a medicine woman walking through fields of lavender and herbs and collecting. And I about fell off the chair because for so many years I've had dreams of this, not really knowing what it meant or, yeah. or how it came about. But I always kind of felt I was born in the wrong century and in the wrong mm -hmm. country Absolutely. and I belonged somewhere else doing somewhere else doing something else and so now I feel like this kind of dream and this imagery that you had of me is starting to come to fruition I think it's so cool yeah, you were doing a creative outlet before um, you started the essential oil line um, which I am I have the pleasure of wearing a little something here mm -hmm. from her so I've advanced since the beginning of my creative. So beautiful. I'm so excited for this bracelet. It's so amazing. I Tell started working it. in jewelry, making jewelry years ago, just kind of costume fun things. And then um, I read an article. I don't know how I, I don't remember how I came about it, but about a German nun named Hildegard von Bingen. And I encourage you all to read about her. She was a writer, a poet, a musical composer. Mm -hmm. She was a healer and she believed mm -hmm. in the healing power of stones and, and herbs sound. and sound, mm -hmm. all of it. And so I switched over to semi-precious healing stones. Mm -hmm. And so now um, I have a small line. I like to focus on the Mala style necklaces. This happens to be uh, lapis with pyrite mm -hmm. and some amazonite. And then with all of the jewelry, I have a little bit of, um, I have the Swarovski oh, crystal, yeah, yeah, that uh, depicts the seven major chakras. So if you're feeling out of balance in any of these, you can just kind of, you know, touch these crystals mm -hmm. and say a little prayer or meditation to get you back in balance. And then the bracelet you have on kind of went a little wild. I started with one and ended up with three spirals 
But this is a beautiful Amazonite stone with an African um, turquoise focal bead, pyrite on either side and pyrite stones, and then a lovely tassel. And I always try to do some sort of a charm. So this is the Hamsa with the heart chakra, the green heart chakra, the um, Swarovski crystal in the center. So Do you I want to tell that. us a little bit about Amazonite and pyrite? Because these are my two of my favorite stones in the world. Lapis is too, but I love Amazonite because it has so many different colors and properties to it. And then we pyrite, otherwise known as fool's gold, it's, you know, we, we tend to set it aside because of that other name of it, like mm -hmm. fool's gold, mm -hmm. but it's a very, very powerful stone. It's an amplifier, correct? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. So what about the Amazonite? And, and the same thing, pyrite? healing and calming. And those are, the, those are the things that I really try to focus on in this day mm -hmm. and age. I think people are just so stressed and they're so fearful of what might uh, be waiting for them down the road. And so I try to do things with my jewelry and my essential oils to calm, to energize, to help people stay focused, get mm -hmm. focused, mm -hmm. to get grounded and stay grounded. Yeah. And that um, speaks to the use of the crystals for the chakras as well. I'm really um, passionate about that for folks that, yeah. they, that they get into that space where they can feel very calm and comfortable. I love it. And you also did that not just for humans, but for pets, I which did. is, I love the I pet did. line. It was such a great idea. I just, I think it was amazing. The pet tags. Yeah, I started these a couple of years ago in memory of my yes. beautiful German Shepherd Troy. And I, I, being such an animal lover, I realized that so many animals, especially those that we have adopted that have come from shelters, we have no idea what kind of horrific backgrounds they can have. So I really wanted to do these little healing tags for them. Again, this particular one is um, aquamarine, which helps to dispel fear and tension and uh, copper, which conducts spiritual energy, the beautiful Om, which is symbol of truth and the Supreme Spirit. So um, these are the little healing tags. You can use them for dogs, if your cat has a little collar, your horse's halter, yeah. whatever works for We've you. We've actually had the privilege of um, having a little bit of all the animals. My friend has one that has a horse, and you've got all kinds True. of dogs yes. wearing them, a couple of yes. cats, so it's been really mm -hmm. lovely. Yeah, and I've come up now with a, a healing spray for dogs. Um, oh, cats yeah. are a little tricky. You have to be careful with yes, essential oils with cats. And so uh, all of my oils are supported by a clinical herbalist. She looks over all my recipes and makes sure they're safe, mm -hmm. that the dilutions are safe. So I have a really lovely one now that will work for dogs and horses. You can spray their kennels, their blanket, um, the horse's blanket before you saddle up kind of And thing. the horses so, respond, I think, crazy amazing like they do they really you can just see them kind of go <sighs> mm -hmm. like a relaxed kind of thing with my friend's horse and I experienced that almost I, I guess when you first started doing the sprays two years ago yeah I had you make yeah. one for my friend and the horse loved it and you know the best way to do it is to just kind of hold it a little bit under their nose like I'll do this with my dog if I make in I made a new perfume the other day and held it under his nose and he followed me with it across the room. So, you know, um, let them get used to it and see what their um, feeling is about yeah. it and if they're if they're connecting with it and go from there. That's so, I just think it's wonderful. I love animals and I think it's wonderful that we have a way to help them um, acclimate and adjust after a trauma. Um, and a lot of times when they're rescues, they've been through some of that kind of trauma. So it's a really nice, lovely thing to do for them. And speaking of traumas, we as humans go through things where we need relaxation or we need healing. And I've always experienced just a level of uplifting energy and calmness from your bath salts, your sprays, even the lip balms. Like, Thank and you. So can you just really quick go through um, the products really quick that we have yeah. here? And then if there's any others that we haven't talked about, maybe we could talk about those really quick. Sure. So I have a, just a small sampling <laughs> of what I carry. Um, I started out with mists and sprays, and from there I kind of evolved into a face and skincare line. I can spray. I know I can spray. Yes, please do. That's, that's the Apre Shower Lemon Mist, I believe. <sighs> And uh, also a bath line and some miscellaneous products. Mm -hmm. And so, um, <clears throat> as I say, all my recipes are 
uh, supervised by a clinical herbalist. I am studying now myself, taking several classes and reading voraciously. There's so much information. Mm -hmm. And I think one thing people need to know about essential oils is they're very volatile. They're very powerful. Mm -hmm. You really have to use them judiciously and carefully, but with wonderful healing properties. It may take you a while to get used mm -hmm. to the scent. You know, we're so used to chemical smells and scents for so long oh, from yeah. our cleaning products yes. to our deodorant and, and um, uh, colognes and so on. So the, the, the essential oils have more of a very earthy, spiritual sort of flavor to them. And once you kind of, you know, breathe that in and let that sink in, there's just no way you can go back to a chemical. There, that's so true. Ever since There's I started no using ear perfumes and your yeah. sprays, then I haven't worn a cologne scent or a, mm -hmm. a perfume, any of it. But I get compliments all the time. So even when I can't smell them anymore, I'm used to them or whatever, and I think, oh, it's worn off, I'll be at a, a counter checking out or something, and somebody go, oh, my gosh, what do you have on? That's amazing. And I'm like... Oh, I don't know. Let me think. <laughs> it's one of Julie's sprays. Which one is it? Yeah. But yeah, it's um, it, it's it's wonderful to get um, used to something natural like that and get out of the chemical mm -hmm. stuff. But you have bath stuff. What you do? Bath stuff. I don't know what this beautiful. is. That's an herbal scrub that you can put on. Uh, it's made with um, mm -hmm. kaolin clay as the base, which is one of the softest, most gentlest clays for your face. So you just take a little bit in your hand, put a little bit of water in there, and you can either make it thick and leave it on as a mask mm -hmm. for a little bit if you like, or just kind of gently scrub your face, mm -hmm. wash off with a warm washcloth, followed by the skin toner, face serum, face cream. And then I have a beautiful okay. um, oil cleansing um, combination. Most people would never think of oil to cleanse their right, skin. Right, right. Because we always think, oh, I'm oily. I have to yeah. get the oil off. But and that's not. These oils, oils are so beautiful. They just really soak in, remove all the dirt and makeup, and then the residue kind of stays on your mm -hmm. skin. And and uh, does yeah, I've had really, I have really dry skin, so that really works for me really well. And it doesn't break me out. It doesn't clog my pores. It's amazing. Because I think you gave me some a few months ago when you first started yes. um, dealing with the oil mm -hmm. cleanser, and I just love it. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I'm extremely careful about is, um, number one, I use all organic products or well-crafted. For those of you who don't know the term well-crafted, it means the product is, comes from a field where there's absolutely no spring. It grows wild. Um, we also use ethically sourced products. So for example, sandalwood is originally from India and that tree is becoming extinct now. So we use Australian sandalwood, which is a beautiful mm -hmm. smelling it fragrance. Yes. So I tend to also make, as you'll see, in, in somewhat small batches, because although there's a preservative, it's a natural preservative, and it's certainly not like things you buy over the counter that will last six and eight years. So we make things very carefully under very clean conditions in small batches so that you can enjoy them fresh and naturally. And they come in a couple of different sizes, so you can do a trial size if you're not sure about what you And if you just love it and like to slather it, you can do a custom size too, I'm sure. Absolutely. I'm sure you would do that. But I, I have to say that I've always told you that your prices were too low for this, <laughs> like, yes. which is kind of funny yeah. because um, it, it, everything is so affordable. It's so affordable. You could get rid of everything you were using over um, the counter and and switch to this without any additional cost and it's so much better for you feel good you feel a peacefulness um putting it on and using it and it just it calms your nerves it calms your spirit um you know we started out using the sprays just as aura cleansers kind of mm -hmm. and just using them to to bring a level of peace in our energy and then that evolved into you know using them right. as cologne because yes, yes. they smell so good and yes. and so there's been a beautiful evolution to your product line Thank and you. i love it so much i can't say enough good things about it it's Thanks. just amazing I appreciate that. yeah and that's what sets you aside is the energy that you put into it and the love that you put into what you do Everything is blessed as I'm working. Yeah. I'm putting on the 528 Cifeggio tones, and I just feel really good in that space when I have that. My crystals are kind of scattered here and there. I always say a little blessing or a little prayer as I'm beginning over the product that it turns out well, and I'm so passionate about it, but I really 
want people to become as passionate as I am mm -hmm. and to really, um, really embrace the product and feel that it's really good for them and it's enhancing their life as well. Well, and any of us that have studied any of Dr. Emoto's work with the water crystals understand that putting a good energy into a product makes all the difference in how it feels, how it works, how your body um, acclimates to it or absorbs it, everything. So I think that's why I love your stuff so much is because there's so much love in it. Thank you. And I know that this... Um, this whole program is based around our metaphysical community. And um, so I want to quickly ask you about um, inspirational guides or angels, or who do yes. you work with that you feel has kind of perpetuated or inspired your line of work and your creativity? Well, I have to say when I first started working with you many years ago and coming to meditation and we're talking about, <coughs> excuse me, our spirits and our guides mm -hmm. and... Uh, our angels, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, oh, what's all this about? And all of a sudden, things started manifesting for me. And I knew, and always knew, that Mother Mary was a, was a huge influence on my life. Oh, yeah. um, I, was, uh, I worked in a Catholic environment for a long time. I have to tell you a quick little story. And one of our residents used to come in, and she was about 95 years old, and she always said the rosary every day. And uh, we talked about Mary. And I said to her one time, I said, you know, my friends don't understand Mary. Why do the Catholics always worship Mary? And she looked at me and she said, Julia, we don't worship Mary. We simply adore her because she was the mother of Jesus. <laughs> and I just absorbed yeah. that and I thought that was so beautiful. Like that. And she's been a guide and an inspiration to me ever since. Oh, she, yeah. For me, she depicts that beautiful feminine energy, that mm -hmm. loving grace, uh, forgiveness, non-judgmental kind of personality and I try to emulate her every day as you much do. as I can. You do. Don't always make it, but you know, I I always know she's there. Unless we're in traffic. That's right. <laughs> That's true. And then afterwards I have to ask her forgiveness for you know for, for not yeah. having her by my side in traffic. Yes, please. <laughs> But um, she's been such an influence, and I see her as an influence with so many of my friends, too, mm -hmm. um, as we gather together. She's always present. She's always there. I know. And I, I love I it. feel her so strong when you're in the room. Yeah. I, always, I mean, I work with her a lot in my energy practice and stuff, right. but when, you're, when I'm around you or you're in the room do, in meditation or anything, it's, like, super strong. Yeah. So there is no doubt that, you know, she's working through you and with you and that... I feel like, and I wonder, I'm going to ask you, do you feel like a lot of the scents are kind of somewhat channeled? Oh, I know they are. Mm -hmm. I know they are because I start um, um, I start creating new scents, and, and her vision always comes mm -hmm. when I'm doing it. Yeah. And so uh, I might take a, this essential oil and smell it and try it, and she's somewhere there in front of me maybe guiding me towards something different. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but her presence is always available to me because I really want these scents and fragrances and just the quality of the product to be the best it can possibly be. I think it is. Yeah. So can you tell us um, just a few of the products? I love the roll-ons because they're kind of a little more potent. Mm -hmm. um, so if you just want to kind of do it and be and have sure. that scent all day long and you're sure. smelling it a little bit, but other people can too. Right. And um, you have some staples but you also have a couple of new pieces mm -hmm. so the perfume this one's called dreamer and uh all the bases of all the roll-on perfumes is jojoba oil which is one of the most richest most mildest types mm -hmm. of oil mm -hmm. easily absorbed into the skin very gentle and then i start using <clears throat> excuse me the different notes so start with a base note like sandalwood for example and then come to what they call the middle or the heart notes and then end up with the top notes so if those of you who know a little bit about perfume know that the first thing that you smell is the top notes and mu much of the time they're citrus mm -hmm. and so when those start to dissipate which they will sooner than later then you start coming into the heart notes and that's a whole different class they linger a little bit longer and then finally the base notes like things like vetiver and sandalwood mm. that last a long, long time. Yes. So each of the 
whether they're the mist or the perfume, I try to create them with all three, something from all three of those notes. Yeah. And uh, I'm just guided by my own um, sense of fragrance and also what I want to put out there spiritually mm -hmm. for people. Mm -hmm. And so... So you're definitely kind of going, this is what I would love, and I love this. I'm going to create something that I'm in love with and hope that other people like it, like in that way as well. And I think that's really lovely. Mm -hmm. That's really lovely. Like with the new the new bath, after bath sprays or after shower sprays, that are very citrusy and, citrusy and, and very clean right. and just make you feel clean and, and fresh. And uh, fresh, yeah. yeah. Those are really lovely. Those are fun. Mm -hmm. And people can have, you know, if you have a particular scent that you're really fond of, rose or things like sandalwood or the citrus oils mm -hmm. or, or more of the woodsy type things like cedar wood, for example. Um, I can also do some custom blends for mm -hmm. people as well if that's what they would prefer. You know, I just realized that we haven't talked about the name of your company. Oh. And if you'll do yeah. that, we'll kind of end with that if it's okay with you. And we'll talk about um, what inspired you to for the logo and the name really quick. Okay. So the name of the company is called Moonshadow. Moonshadow Botanicals and Spiritual Boutique. And uh, let's see if we can get a good little. There we yeah. go. There's one. I don't know. There's something with me in the moon. I don't know what it is. It's good, beautiful, feminine energy. Mm -hmm. It's. Um, there's a sense of calming. Mm -hmm. Where some people say, oh my gosh, it's a full moon. Everybody's going to be crazy. My thought is, oh, it's a full moon. Yeah. I'm going to have all this beautiful energy surrounding me. Mm -hmm. And everything's going to be calm and peaceful. So there's a huge connection for me there. And also, the wolf is my spirit animal. So I had to have him in the logo as well. And um, Love it. so all of my little, uh, when I get the new labels made too, they will all have little sayings on them. Oh, I love it. About the moon. Like one of the perfumes will be, um, the moon followed her in the slipstream of her perfume. Oh, I love it. So love fun it. little sayings so related fun. to the moon. They're fun in every way. Everything is just amazing to wear. I have to tell everybody that I've been wearing her products since she started this, and I just I won't wear anything else anymore. I just don't because it's just amazing. And people ask me all the time. She makes my face creams now, my face oils, my <laughs> serums, and so I'm just um, she's the best little tester I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very sensitive, so I have super super sensitive, very allergic, very sensitive skin, and I've never had a reaction to anything yeah. ever, which is crazy. Never, not once. And I think it's because there's no chemicals in it. And what I was reacting to wasn't the oils, it was the chemicals. Mm. And well, so and I think too that um, the fact that they are organic, and I will never stray from that, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. is, a, is a big factor because you're looking at an essential oil that was grown from the purest ingredients Absolutely. and fostered by nature yes. and then prepared in organically... Um, Harvested. Uh, harvested, mm -hmm. yeah, in mm -hmm. and, and, and organic surroundings. So everything is really beautifully done. And so. And the vibration of that oil is higher. The frequency of that oil I is higher. Is. So I, I think so, it yes. just it gives you a whole different yes. feel. So that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, I want to talk really quick. I know that we're going to um, your Etsy um, shop is not quite ready, but almost. Almost. We're getting there. With and the website store. only has another week or so um, to be Oh, up. maybe a few weeks. I'm, I'm getting the new labels mm -hmm. very soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we'll start going with the website. So Stay I'll tuned for the know. little card at the end. We're going to have her email address um, and her Facebook page um, as far as her contact information. If you're interested at all, you can, um, I sell some of her products here at St. Andrews at my office, um, or you can contact myself or her directly as far as how to get in touch with her um, for some great product, or even a little home party. Yeah, oh, I'd love Anything to Anything like that that anybody wants to do. If you want to do a little home party, I'm sure that um, the, the, the person, the hostess, the hostess will get, get a, a wonderful gift. gift. So I'm gonna, I'll have to host something soon. <laughs> That'd be great. I'd love that. So um, and so check her out um, on Facebook, Julia Spigarelli, um, Moon Shadow Designs, um, and custom perfumes and sprays. Um, we will talk with Julia again very soon as your line progresses. We'll try to have her own as soon again as soon as the Etsy shop is finalized and finished. 
And until then, like I said, just get in touch with one of us and stay tuned for the card at the end. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, Have a great Lori. day. Thank you.